it's our last day in the Balkans and we have come to get the Hardalina ferry so we will show you all the bits we learn on the way because I must admit when I was googling the Hardalina ferry and how to get there and what we could do on it and how to check in there wasn't much information so hopefully um, you'll find some of this video useful. So you don't go down this road, you pull into these lanes and you drive down. This is for catching the Ancona ferry, but most of them go the same way. And you drive past all of these holiday boats and local boats. In 200 meters, slide right to stay on a bar as a Domagoja. Yeah. So yeah, we arrive. Wow. Yeah, honestly, there is a huge queue. Um, and yeah, we arrived at five o'clock, so they told us to be here and all the signs switched around so I'm going to try and get into Hardalina now and go pick up our ticket. And one tip, if you're booking in a car bring its documents because you're definitely going to need them. Um, you only need one person to do the check-in for everybody. It's not like at the airport where everybody has to go up and show up. In here you just need one person passport. Nice and easy again! All our tickets are always saved on Google Drive as well and we make them available offline. I do that because when I'm traveling I cannot print stuff off and carrying that amount of paper is too much hassle so and they seem to accept it just fine. Like that, all the tickets and the car and we board in an hour and that was just insanely easy. Whoops, as I fall off yet another. Do you know, I should stop videoing and walking. I nearly broke my ankle in Narbonne. It fell down a hole at the Parthenon. It's just not healthy. I need to find out where my husband parked the car. He can't have gone far, can he? To make life easier when we get on the boat, we're doing an overnight, um, but I didn't want to have to take all of this lot with us. Um, and we know the car is secure. So we've just packed overnight toiletries. Each person in the bottom of here has a bag with sleeping clothes, clean pants, and actually a full change of clothes, wet wipes because, well, just for keeping the place clean, water and jackets in case. He's being grouchy. He's I've grouching. Been I have been cancelled. I know he's grouching because I'm, I've got him here for five o'clock and everybody else is here as well. And he reckons he could have turned up at eight o'clock and drove on. Eight o'clock or seven o'clock. Did we drive on at six o'clock? So I don't I see. Thought, how... I thought it left at seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. I told you that. Can I can I ask you guys a question if you don't mind? What me or the these audience? Guys? Oh, the audience. All three watch. So I weighed myself today. On. 127 kilos. Mm. I think in April it's 120 kilos. He was fighting weight. My fighting weight, and I've I've not put on any 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 like my, my pants aren't tight or anything like that. So where's the weight? Do you reckon my muscles are massive? Oh, for God's like, sakes! Let me know the comment box below, please. Is it just a gratuitous look at my muscles? What is, guys? I'm oh, ready. Guess who got his beard done today? That's it. That's why he's like, oh, he's so shavy. You know what? It's my. Th I think it's. I'm trying to get a beard done in quite. I've probably got my beard done about eight times. This is by far the most expensive, but. But. By far the quickest. Oh. And. In Turkey, I get my beard done weekly, and I think it's like two euros, and they take an hour and twenty minutes. And I'm just like, can we just get this done? And I think today I paid about eight euros, which is done in five minutes. So quite happy with that. Albania was like twenty minutes. Where else have we got it done? Beard chat. Italy. Mm. Oh no, it's actually not the most expensive. Sorry, Italy was about twenty twenty euro for just my beard. Um, and that took, that took about an hour. He started to do lots of fluffy things with my hair. But, um, on my beard. My beard, on the other hand, has been growing so, non-stop. And I've really been struggling to flick so, it. So my message for you guys, if you want to get your beard done, especially you females. <laughs> you can't say that. Is if you want pampering, go to Turkey. It's going to take an hour and a half. And if you want pampering in Croatia, I've got this great lady. She takes five minutes. So basically... If you get one of those, if you get a quick, if your boyfriend says meet me in an hour, but you go, oh my god, my beard, 
you can pop into this lady, she'll sort you out in five minutes, and there you go, you can meet your boyfriend. Scott has a tip. So I've got a great tip for you here. It's one of those travel hacks. Yeah. If you've got your own caravan, just go and sleep in the caravan. <laughs> You're not allowed to sleep in the caravan. If you were, we'd be doing that. Naughty. That's the warning sign. Warning, don't sit in the car for 37 minutes waiting for the people in front to move and then discover the cars in front are empty. Oh, wow. Are you going to bang your head when you get out up here? Right. That is... Okay. Who the driver? Just, just, just... Just me. Just you need to get out. And we can, you close this. Front, second corridor, right, woo! We have an inside cabin. Dun 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 dun! Hopefully a quiet Please one. Oh! Oh wow, here we go. Of all the cruises I've been on, I think this is gonna be... I won't be that awful. You have to stick, don't rip it off. Mr. Scott rips the door off its handle. Put it in the other way, upside down. Miss No, put <laughs> oh, oh, it's nice. It's um it's oh wow. It's a, This is cool. This is um I don't know where the light is. Oh, oh god, is that the light? Wow, this is spaciously Look, you get a Hey, this is, it's got a toilet. You know that, that saying they can't say when you say, say gratitude, I'm not saying it. You should do. It could be How worse. How do I get off I'm, these? <laughs> OMG. You should be happy. This is a bunk bed. This is well cool. Is this the best we could have got? Yes. <laughs> I think he likes it. Oh, Thea's first bunk bed experience. Hang on it's a minute. Nice. That's, that's my but pillow. It's quite so nice. who do you want below you? Who are you going to squash? Me. Okay. I'm quite scared because I'm a big rollover. That's so anti-roll bars. <laughs> so quick to our spacious cabin. Four berth. Ours has been set up for three, although you have an extra bed up here, which you would unhook from up here. Um, coat hooks seating area that could be a desk at a push. In my absolutely honest opinion all joking aside now from modern day chef this is really bad. But it's clean. Okay we'll go see the toilet if I can get past everybody. If this everybody. was your hotel room would you stay in it? Yeah. No. If I... Oh bear! Oh! oh God! Oh. Scott's visited the toilet. Oh! The key, oh it's just the toilet. You got the key? It's and in the key cup. Okay, and we get a toilet. But at least we got our own toilet. I don't have to use anybody else's. Yeah. And a sink. So you can have a Polish shower. And if you don't want one of those, I'll explain it later. Or you can Google it. Plastic cups. I love this sign that says, yeah. no smoking in the bed, but can you smoke here? Well, not obviously in the cabins as well. Or does it mean no smoking in the bed? But that's it. This is our home for 11 hours. Thank God. <laughs> British prison's probably better. You want honest opinions, you come to this channel. <laughs> come on, let's go. Let's go explore. You're telling me that Daddy has to go on his longer legs. What, is he? Daddy, can you I, high I kick your way busy. up onto the top bed? Thea says she can get your legs up there. I Just from standing. Already. One charging socket. That's what... Is that a charge? That one charge? That is pretty filthy. Rule. If you're bringing your dogs, your dogs can actually go under the beds. There's actually enough room. If you've obviously got a very small dog, and you can also put your luggage. Storage space. Oh! He's taking his pants off, video off. The rest of the ship. Ted Danson at a glance is giving out cabin keys. Uh, here are the people who will be extremely uncomfortable later on this evening. If you're, if you're, and if you're under six foot six, 
Uh, honestly, the ship is not made for giants. These look far better than the blue star seats that we sat in there, and they all have these comfy little cushions. Luggage stores, use their own discretion or danger. This reminds me of Royal Caribbean cruises. It reminds me I'm not on a Royal Caribbean cruise right now going up the staircase. Just so you know, cash only restaurant. Which would rule out uh, most people from our side of the world who actually use a credit card. Cash only, This in this day and age. Okay, when Mr. Scott is complaining about where we're sleeping, he needs to kind of come and have a look at this because do you want to sleep on that? Because that is why we got a cabin. For the record, he's gone and done it again. He's done a runner. He just, I don't know what it is about him. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. It's a con. Why is it a con? Because it's cash only, so they send you to their bank machine and they just give you stupid, bad, really bad exchange rates for stupid charges. Yeah, it's a con. So at least we brought some food and some other stuff. But yeah, this is where most people are going to sleep tonight, so that's one annoyed Mr. Scott. Perfect digital world, eh? What happened? I cannot use that in my videos. My husband has to put his muzzle on. That is the <laughs> most creepy sign. That is really scary and actually looks exactly like our dogs except for the ears. <laughs> of drowning. Did you just say that this place reminds you like an American motel? Yeah, 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago. I hope it's not Bates's. Ew. Promises are high, the Adriatic Club, cafe, dancing, self-service, a kindergarten and a TV room. I have seen none of that. Three euro fifty, four euro. For large? Yeah, five euros. Five? Does it keep going up? How much for wine? Three euros. Three euros for wine. We'll see if we can scratch the cash. Do you, why why do, do, you take, you... do you take um, Croatian too, yeah? Why do you not take Visa? So we're now scratching through purses, you... wallets. So let me take you through my dollar. I only, you know, we have been traveling for what, 12 weeks. So what am I going to bring a ton of cash for me? But I got one dollar. One dollar. I got five Turkish lira. I've got dollars. Into That's the two dollars. I've got some. This is what we've been reduced to. Ah, ah. Seven kuna, eight kuna. Oh. I got about nine kuna. Got that I got some Turkish lira. No, I wanted to collect that. I'll give you my other stuff. Basically, I remember when things were. They were really awesome, but they were grim financially. And we used to scratch down the back of the sofa and underneath his car seat to find enough money to go out. Do you remember those times, Mr. Scott? Yeah, I do. And you know what? Why I would... never thought we would be reduced to that today. Do what? You told me we were cruising home. Yeah. Swimming pool, entertainment, slides, buffets. What? As apparently, apparently, I was getting on this boat. Not this one. No, apparently, it was going on this one. Though. Yeah, we it was. And the way Alexander um, described it was like subscribed it. Sunset, beautiful dinner. Yeah, well, that's what they sold to me. Never believe a travel blogger. They're all except for us. <laughs> no. Take the dinner on here. But what I can see everybody else is bringing their own alcohol on board and everything like that. All I'm gonna say to you is what's up doc? I want you to do your best, Bugs Bunny. Yabba dabba doo!
That's Fred, Fred Flintstone. Give me your best what's up, Doc. What's up, Doc? <laughs> your lips didn't move. Well, that's um, all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> I was looking for the charging points, but then somebody found it. Up the top of the pole by the bar. So, yeah. And if you look, yeah, they do have a couple of plug sockets. Hey, oh, she's found the gift shop. Oh, beanies! Oh my god, it is old school. It is. Oh my god, I could become a sailor. Oh my god. look like comfy sleeping bits. I just discovered these are cabin passengers only. I like that. So they're not for sleeping, they're Cruising for... Cruising and luxury here. Yeah, cruisy. That's it. We got on the boat. We found our cabin. We had drink. He's still grumpy. Maybe when we get to Italy, we'll be less grouchy. We get um, a sheet on the bottom. You get sheet and blanket, little hand towel, and actually pretty comfy pillow. And it's spotlessly clean, and I don't think you can ask for better than that. Really. Except it's a bit small. You're not that big. You're tiny. How <laughs> dare you! There you go. <laughs> I want to let you know that if you are six foot uh, eight and under, you will fit on the bed. And 127 kilos. Nice hole in the sock as well. That is. That is that's, the, that's to go with the, um, the bow, <laughs> especially for this bow, for what I'd homo it out a bit. It's got a lock on the door, doesn't work, but it's there. Uh... You have the five star Where are and they? don't come on this bow. Stop! Look, you've got air conditioning, warm air, mixed air, cold air. I don't know where that actually comes from. Emergency bell. No, can't work out. Hmm. The aircon. It's this that, that I thought was a broken light. Hot, cold, fix. That is just weird. No, it works. It's weird. It looks dangerous, but it works. Ah, oh, so it's six o'clock, and they knock the door to wake us up. Um, that was a pretty comfy sleep. It's a very comfy sleep. Not too hot and not too cold. Um, pretty good way to get to Italy. So this is our view. Ancona. What a way to travel. It's not cold. <laughs> it's not cold. Did you enjoy your sleep? Cold out here, but colder than the other one. Yes, I did. Was it comfy? I do have a question. Go Am on. I just shouting for the sake of it? Yes. So this is an outside cabin with window, toilet, pretty much the same as ours. Um, I just think ours is a bit nicer. Dog's getting off. This game of car Jenga. Daddy has one car Jenga. He has made it to the car without climbing over the top of the other cars. We, on the other hand, now have to slide past other people. Ugh. Video. <laughs> no, Somebody's stuck on the bump bed. Stop. The event your husband goes and does a stinky in the toilet, <laughs> drop to the floor and put a cloth over your nose. <laughs>